rapper, businessman, and multimillionaire P. Diddy, a multitude of allegations have come out against him. In the past couple of months, Diddy has been arrested, multiple more lawsuits have come out, and he also has multiple charges against him. Uh -huh. With everything 14. that's come out against Diddy recently, 14 charges it can get against confusing Diddy. when it comes to the details, making it hard to separate facts from fiction. So today, I'm going to break down every single formal allegation that P. Diddy is facing. But first, we gotta understand a little bit more about Puff. Also, I just want to put a little disclaimer right here that obviously I'm going to be talking about some really dark and disgusting and sensitive topics. Maddie as I'm balls. sure most of Shout you are probably balls, already chat. aware, right, but bro. I just wanted to warn you guys because it gets After this reaction, I might end or play The Walking Dead. Continue. It's up to y'all. Most of us know who Diddy it's is or me, know it's, it's of Diddy, to, but we gotta have a better understanding of who this. he is to truly understand these allegations. Diddy, aka Puff Daddy, Puff Diddy, Daddy, or Sean Combs, or Love, began his career Dr. in the 90s working at Uptown Records. A few years into his career, he was fired, so he then created his own label called Bad Boy Records in 93. He uh -huh. signed the notorious B.I.G., who was obviously a huge signee and made Puff very successful. He signed other artists like Faith Evans and had an in-house production team called The Hitman, who worked with artists like Usher, TLC, Mariah Carey, Aretha Franklin, and many Aretha? more. Puff was already very successful, Wait, when did, but then when he did decided Puff... to work on his own music. His first single charted- When did Puff work with Aretha Franklin? R.I.P. Miss, RIP Miss Franklin. R.I.P. Miss Franklin. God rest her soul. When did she work with him? for 28 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100 and his first album sold 561,000 copies first 561, week. So Diddy was already- 561,000 copies? Diddy was like that? Bro, his music sucks. Diddy music sucks, bro, what? Wildly successful early on to his career in the music industry. Not only was he a successful artist, but he was also a powerful executive with tons of connections. He also had other business ventures, Ciroc? with one of his most successful ones being his partnership with Ciroc, in which he had- He's partnered, that's that, that's Diddy juice for, for women. All right, not drinking Ciroc. Helped them develop their brand in exchange for 50% of the profits. So if you didn't know much not, about Diddy, that's not pretty much Ciroc. all you need to know. He's a rich, powerful, and successful man in the music industry and Hollywood in general. He's won a Guinness World Record for most successful rap producer in 1997. What? He's won three Grammys, three? and he's also credited for cultivating artists like Biggie, Mary J. Blige, mm. and Usher. I kept it brief and for Bieber. simplicity's sake, obviously, but Yo, I really thank you, to emphasize his power, his influence, El Mods, and his wealth. Yeah. Also, I said I'm, earlier I'm he was a multi-millionaire, but they have even estimated his net worth to be a billion dollars, so Diddy is very rich. Throughout his career, P. Diddy has also had quite In 1999, he was sued by Nas's manager after Diddy attacked him, for which they settled out of court for $500,000. In 2003, his clothing brand Sean John was accused of violating Honduran labor laws as the factories were based in Honduras. The National Labor Committee said that the employees were forced to work overtime, forced? were paid sweatshop wages, and that the bathrooms were locked. In 2007, Diddy was sued for battery after he punched Gerard Rich Rechnitzer at a nightclub. No idea if I said his name right. And there's even- As a white man, why can't you say Richnitzer? Richnitz, you see, you see my blackness stopping me from doing it. What are you, what, what you mean? I mods, I mods? Marley, go back to school. Alleged My violent fault. crimes My that he's committed My throughout fault, his bro. career. After this, For I'm example, yeah. Diddy's ex Cassie Ventura, who we will talk more about later, Change game? said that Diddy blew up Kid Cudi's car, to which a spokesperson for Kid Cudi said that it was true. On top of that, for years, Diddy has been theorized to be involved in both Pac and Biggie's deaths. Tupac's murder suspect even claimed that Diddy wanted Shug him to kill Knight? both Pac and Suge Knight. There's even the time Eminem said, the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits he put out the hit that got Pac. But Kells. The day you put out a, the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits he, the, he put out the hits that got pot killed. killed okay? On top of that, Diddy even admitted that the death of Biggie what? helped his own music career. I even hate when as Nick's recently as 2017, he was sued for sexual harassment by his chef, and the suit was settled out of court. So for a long time, Diddy has been a very shady guy in the music industry, with tons of conspiracy theories following him throughout his career. And over the years, as he would continue to have these controversies, nothing would compare to what happened recently. In November of 2023, singer Okay, Cass Sean Combs is accused by Cassie of grape and years of abuse and lawsuit. You see, let me put you, let me tell y'all boys something. Even though you guys are in a relationship, before you have sex, always ask for consent. Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against God, Diddy that God, would set God, off God, a chain God, of legal issues that. for Puff. She said, 
After years of silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. Mm. Cassie met Diddy in 2005 when she was 19 and he was, 19? I believe, 36. And 36 she signed to Diddy's label in 2006. 19. Not only did she sign to the label, but she signed a 10 album deal. She basically signed her life away. And did Was Cassie's songs that good? Was Cassie's songs that good to have a 10 album deal? Hey guys, Rent and JPG here. Did you know that 85% of you guys aren't subscribed? What are you doing right now? Click that button and don't miss out on two to three videos a week. Let's get back into the video. Signed this so that he could have more control over her career. So, so I wanted to get us all together so we could get this, um, um, everybody can hear from me how Focus and excited I am about the project. I wanted, you know, Cassie to, um, um, everybody to meet Cassie. Y'all on that they had an on and off relationship from this time until about 2018. In the lawsuit, Cassie claims that not too long after she met him, that he would give her drugs to make her compliant, he would beat her multiple times a year, and he forced her to have sex with male prostitutes while he filmed. He very quickly became very controlling of her, as obviously he was in control of her career, and he would also pay for her car, apartment, clothes, and also had access to her medical records. Apparently, a few years into the relationship, he would coerce her into having sex with male prostitutes while he watched, filmed, and played himself. This stuff is really disgusting and disturbing, but basically Diddy was a cuck. And she said that this went on for years. He was a sneaker. Wow. In the suit, there was wow. also mention of the 2016 incident where he hit Cassie in a hotel, then he passed out. She tried to leave, but he woke up and followed her and started hitting her, as seen in the security camera footage. Apparently, Diddy even paid the hotel $50,000 for the footage. In 2018, at the end of their relationship, he apparently forced himself into her apartment and R-worded her, after which she finally left him for good. Also included in the suit, apparently Diddy dangled one of Cassie's friends over a 17th floor hotel balcony and the suit also touches on when Diddy tried to blow up Kid Cudi's car into This nigga's a mob boss. He, he's a mob boss. Yo, he's moving like he's in the mob. He's moving like he's in the mob. What? Twelve, because Cudi was briefly talking to Cassie. Like I said, one of Cudi's spokespeople said, this is all true. One of Diddy's lawyers, Ben Braffman, said, Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has Yo. been subjected to Miss Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million, under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. In response, one of Cassie's lawyers said, Mr. Combs offered Miss Ventura eight figures to silence her and prevent the eight filing eight. of this lawsuit. Uh -huh. now, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty disgusting to say that this was just That's like $10 million. Because Cassie was seeking a payday when there's literally footage of Diddy That's like beating her in a hotel. Million. And that footage actually wasn't even out at the time, which means... The dude was just lying. Like I said, though, Cassie was suing Diddy for $30 million, and apparently the day after they filed the lawsuit, it was settled out of court. It was settled for an undisclosed amount, and both parties said they wanted to settle it in a pleasant and friendly way. There was mm -hmm. nothing public about how they settled it. We don't know how much money Cassie was paid, if any, or even why in particular they settled. Ben Cesario from the New York Times said, For Diddy, the settlement quickly shuts down what could have been a risky and potentially embarrassing process of legal discovery, that in which Bro. of evidence are made public. Yo, bro, I'm not a lawyer, but but my lawyer friend told me if you're able to take a settlement to avoid court, take it, bro. Just take it. And a possible trial. And Cassie also likely didn't want to relive all of her trauma, which is why she probably was willing to settle rather than sit through a trial. But thanks to Cassie's courage for coming forward about this, a multitude Yo, of lawsuits. You know who Mighty Balls kind of look like? He looks like Dream. Y'all see that, right? He looks like dream. Followed just five days after Cassie's lawsuit. Patrick CC? No, he looks like dream. Of drugging and essaying a college student at Syracuse University in 1991 and filming it. Then apparently Diddy would show the footage to people as revenge porn. Shortly after that, a third lawsuit was filed accusing Diddy and Aaron Hall of R-wording the accuser and her friend. Apparently following the assault, Diddy pulled up to the girl's residence and got violent, even choking the girl till she passed out. After this suit came out, 
Diddy spokesperson again claimed Yo, they were locked. My question is, why does Diddy have the time to pull up on people's to pull up in people's houses? Isn't he, bro? Like he's a big music executive. I don't think he has the time of day to even be doing stuff like that. That's my thing. Like he shouldn't have the time of day to be pulling up to people's houses like that, bro. Saying these oh are fabricated God. claims falsely alleging misconduct from over 30 years ago and filed at the last minute. Especially, this is no, especially 30 years ago with how big Biggie was, right? With how big Biggie was and how much they traveled, he shouldn't have that much time to do that. Especially, bro, no, he shouldn't have that much time to do stuff like that. Money grab. Because of Mr. Combs' fame and success, he is an easy target for anonymous accusers who lie without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. Following this on December 6, another lawsuit was filed in which they claimed in 2003, a 17-year-old was gang R-worded by Diddy, Harvey Pierre, and an unnamed assailant. The victim says they talked her into getting on a private jet to New York, drugging her, and then assaulted her. In this lawsuit, the girl even provided pictures, making the claim all that more believable. In December, after all of these allegations, Diddy finally made a statement. Why are on you, bro? Saying, why, why, why are you, why you as a parent letting your 17 year old daughter get on a private plane with a grown man? That's irresponsible parenting right there. That is very irresponsible. That is very irresponsible, bro. That is very irresponsible parenting. Nah, I'm not even going to say it's the, nah, nah, that's just irresponsible parenting. Why are you as a parent letting your daughter go on the plane, bro? That's, that's, that's weird. Like, yo, yo, I can't, bro, I'm 20 years old and I can't even leave the house without telling my mom where I'm going, who I'm going to be with and what I'm doing, bro. Nah, that is very irresponsible parenting though. Enough that's is irresponsible enough. For parenting. For the last couple that's, of weeks, bro, I have sat silently the and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been Yo, made against me by Plumpy individuals Boss looking bad? for a quick payday. All right. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. But it's safe to say Diddy's statement was not well received, and more awful allegations continued to come out. In February of this year, okay. the producer Lil Rod filed a huge $30 million lawsuit in which he accused Diddy of oh, I harassing seen this. and threatening him for over I seen this. a year. I seen this, bro. And, and that lawsuit, they also exposed... Diddy for touching on Usher. I seen this. I so allegedly had footage of Diddy and his people committing crimes and doing SA. Lil Rod was accusing Diddy of what they said was Rico level charges and named people such as Diddy, his son Justin, Lucian Grange, the CEO. Yeah, of the I ain't gonna lie, bro. Justin Cones is just his dad, but mini version. He he probably he he's probably music group. If if he stayed with Diddy, like if Diddy never got arrested, he'll probably be way worse than Diddy. Ethiopia have to have to have if uh, that's how you say it, I have no idea. Good the CEO job. of Motown Records, Chalice Recording Studios, Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Koram, and Diddy's companies as defendants. So basically what he's saying is all these people I just listed and the companies were involved in these crimes alongside Diddy. I do think it's important to okay. note though that Lucy and Grange and UMG were eventually removed from the lawsuit. Lil Rod lived with Diddy for months at a time and was also on a yacht Diddy rented for multiple weeks. He said that he witnessed many of Diddy's awful acts. Apparently Lil Rod was also the victim of constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and groping. touching of his anus by oh. Mr. Combs when he <laughs> the multiple the multi instrumentalist instrumentalist describing himself as a heterosexual Christian man Alleged that the victim of con alleged that he was the victim. He was the victim of constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus by Mr. Combs. Yo, what's good, Glitch? You be you joined at the wrong time. Complained to Diddy's chief of oh staff. My she God, said, that you is know, crazy. Sean will be Sean. Rod Sean even said that Diddy was Sean? trying to make him have sex with Stevie. She's she's used to it. She's used to Diddy being gay. Not even gay. Fuck that gay shit, bro. I don't know why everybody's so focused about Diddy's Diddy being gay. 
He was touching on, he was touch, he was R-wording females, beating on anybody, bro. He was acting like he, he was acting like he was a god on this earth. And he wasn't able to get touched, bro. Like, bro, nah. Jay nah. And promised but, him that like he would that, win a that, Grammy if he did. Him being gay is the least worst thing ever, right? According to the suit, Rod said he was also sexually assaulted by a cousin or assistant of rapper Young Miami. He was sexually harassed and assaulted. Young Miami? Assaulted by Oscar winner Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr.? Just join, bro. You be joining at the wrong singer, time, bro. Whose names have been redacted from the complaint, Usher. consorting with underage girls and workers. Finally, Rodney they said, said it was that the Usher. reason no one has come I'm forward going by the academics the past clip. few decades is because Diddy has footage of every person that has attended his parties that he can use to blackmail them. So Rodney accused Diddy of a ton of crimes, plenty of which we'll touch on more later. But this lawsuit was huge, especially because he was naming names and said he had evidence for all of this. Diddy's attorney said that the suit includes reckless name drop about events that are pure fiction. Following this, two of Diddy's houses were raided by the feds. They said, earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes cheese? available. Both of his sons, Justin and Why Christian, did you were just also say handcuffed cheese? during the raids. So clearly, either because of the lawsuits or before them, Diddy was under investigation by the feds. After Yo, the raid, CNN... If Diddy has been under investigation by the feds since the 1990s, his file, Diddy's file, will be about this thick. Like, you can't even see it. I gotta zoom out. I gotta zoom out. You can't even see how thick I'm talking about. Diddy's file has to be this thick. It has to be. Like, if he's... If the Fed's been investigating him since 1990, his file has bro. No, 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 because the Feds wait until they get enough information on you. Like this is how the Feds work. The Feds wait till they get enough information on you just so they could take you out. Just so they could take you out, bro. Diddy Dunn got himself 1K bottles of baby oil, bro. And obtained the video bro, of Diddy they, attacking. Bro, they probably have a whole chapter about this thick of every bottle of baby oil and how much, how much was used in there. Probably the unopened first and the opens. Like, bro, no. Cassie in the hallway, to which Diddy decided and every to brand. apologize for. Since this was the only evidence so far that had been released to the public. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life but sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but i make no excuses my behavior on that video is that weak ass that weak ass apology i take full responsibility for my actions yo i got yo, the worst way I'm disgusted i'm so sorry But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm going to be done the worst way. I'm truly sorry. On May 22nd, ramen a few tasted days after really the video good. You, out, a you just had ramen? accused Diddy of drugging and essaying her in another lawsuit. I don't a couple like of him days looking later, at me. another woman came forward accusing Diddy of four instances of SA from the mid 1990s to the early 2000s. He was also accused of battery and assault in this suit as well. Most recently, another suit came out where Diddy was accused of drugging and R wording another woman. According to ABC, this is at least the 12th lawsuit filed against diddy since cassie came out with hers back in november of 2023 lawsuits. as of recording this no more have come out but it's very possible more people will speak out the reason all of these people came forward around the same time is because of a new law passed in new york called the adult survivors act basically what this did was give adult victims people yo, who were 18 years or older during 12 law yo diddy D diddy bro diddy he's a villain like he he's one of those villains that Spider-Man be fighting in Marvel. If Diddy if Diddy was was it in real life, he'll probably be like I don't shit. He he's a villain.
in their alleged Free who? abuse, the ability day, to file make, civil lawsuits uh, in New York, school even school? if any statutes of limitations okay. have run out. If you don't know what that means, basically, if you were an adult in New York who got essayed, before this new act, usually there was about a three-year window where you could file a suit. As far as I understand it, I am by no means a lawyer, but this is what it said on Google. So now with the Adult Survivors Act, victims had a one-year window to file suits, and it's set to expire this November. So it isn't like this is some big coordinated mastermind attack against Diddy. This new act, coupled with Cassie's coming out in her lawsuit, seems to be what motivated these victims to come forward. And just as it seemed like it couldn't get worse okay, for Diddy, Diddy, the feds is, showed okay. up at his front door. Again. Most recently, Say Diddy again. was arrested by the feds on September 16th of this year based on a sealed indictment filed by the Southern District of New York. By the way, indictment is basically just fancy talk for serious charges. The U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said, Sean Combs led and participated in a racketeering conspiracy that used the business empire he controlled to carry out criminal activity, mm. including sex trafficking, mm. forced labor, mm. kidnapping, mm. arson, mm. bribery, mm. and the obstruction of justice. Mm. So like the U.S. attorney implied, there are three main charges that Diddy is currently facing. Racketeering conspiracy, trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Mm. His first charge is racketeering, which is defined as a set of illegal activities aimed at commercial profit that may be disguised as legitimate business deals. In the okay. indictment, they say that Diddy abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. To accomplish this, they claim that he used his employees and his businesses to create a criminal enterprise that indulged in the things that the U.S. attorney mentioned earlier. So basically what they were saying was all of the businesses that Diddy so had he's created moving the like the his mob. music career, his clothing career, and everything else like that, he was using those and his employees to help cover up and do the things he wanted to do. And like we know, many of the he things was he moving wanted like to he do was in the mob. assaulting women. The attorney even referred to Diddy's business, Combs Enterprise, as a criminal organization because Diddy had many of his employees working to cover up everything he was doing. They said that employees engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other activities, trafficking, forced labor, interstate transportation for purposes of prostitution, coercion, and enticement to engage in prostitution, narcotics offenses, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. The indictment says that- I can't, I probably can't count, bro. My eyes, my eyes are probably deceiving me. I probably can't count right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different counts. That's probably 15 plus years for each and every one of that, them. To make women cooperate, he is face, he give is, them drugs. He, bro, even if he gets one charge off, he's still doing life in prison. Threaten their careers and also threaten violence. They said from 2009 and continuing for years, Combs but I think assaulted like women life by, in prison. among other things, striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. And this is where we get to one of the more popular parts of the indictment, the freak-offs. The indictment reads, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage Damn, bro, in extended have a whole sex criminal acts with organization. male commercial sex workers bro. that Combs we know all right you see i'm gonna start ignoring messages like that um damn bro has a cold criminal organization he's moving like he he's he has a mob it's referred to as freak offs freak offs were elaborate and produced performances that combs arranged directed why is that nigga bare chested masturbated during and often electronically recorded. The lawsuit even said that these freak offs would last multiple days and Diddy would pump them with drugs to keep them compliant. And then when they needed to recover after the multiple day freak offs, he would give the victims IV fluids, which is insane. Of course, they also mentioned that law enforcement seized various freak off supplies, including narcotics and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant. Of course, this part went viral. It is kind of funny, but it also goes to show the scale of what Diddy was doing. The feds also found multiple firearms in Diddy's houses that he used to threaten his victims. And to top it all off, they said that he has been doing most of this since at least 2008. That's He's been having freak offs since 2008. Diddy will be happy to be in prison? No, he wouldn't. I don't know, bro. 
damn bro have a whole it's bro no he would years of terrible crimes that he's been committing and i know there's like a ton of jokes about this whole situation but in reality this is like some disgusting super nah, villain type of stuff and who knows how nasty. many victims he has total i'm and then, telling of course, you there bro were the like i name. he was charged with trafficking by force fraud or coercion and transportation force to engage fraud. in prostitution both of these had very similar themes and all the information was pretty much the same as we discussed earlier but what i want to point out about the indictment is that if the u.s government is party? indicting you they probably have pretty good evidence yeah. apparently federal prosecutors have above 95 percent conviction rate 95% conviction rate, so things really aren't looking too good for Diddy. They even claimed that they had a ton of recordings, and they also seized a bunch of electronic recording devices in the Yo. raid that they did earlier this year. At the end of the press conference given by the U.S. attorney, he said this. Sean Combs stood in Times Square and was handed a key to New York City. Today, he's been indicted and will face justice in the Southern District of New York. Second, we are not done. We this are investigation not is ongoing, and I encourage anyone with information about this case to come forward and to do it quickly. The government says in the indictment that others were involved in Diddy's actions, and Legal Eagle explained how the government could go after them. And there is a federal crime called misprison of felony, which is defined in 18 U.S.C. Section 4, quote, whoever having knowledge of the actual commission of a felony cognizable by a court of the United States conceals and does not as soon as possible make known the same to some judge or other person in civil or military authority under the United States. I, I find zoned under out. Title or in prison, not I zoned out. Did he invite a whole so bunch a of elders has knowledge to a of Diddy party? And conceals it and doesn't report it to the authorities that person has committed a crime so oh. this investigation is far from over after being arrested diddy has been it's time to start snitching huh because i know a lot of people who who who, who did certain stuff huh? i think it's time to start snitching chat would y'all still rock with me if i snitched real question denied bail multiple times and he has also been placed on suicide watch he's also has in a spin the same off cell San Bankman mm -hmm. freed or fried or however you say his name which is pretty interesting his lawyer has tried to suggest multiple times that he's innocent which at this point is they honestly have a spin off ridiculous. i didn't know i didn't Mr. know that is a fighter he's gonna fight this to the end he's innocent yeah he's uh, a he fighter of to course New York to establish his innocence. he's a fighter of course when 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 he see women he he's a fighter of Since course he's not afraid He's, He's a not fighter, afraid of, of the course. charges. There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. I mean, listen to the reason that the lawyer gave for all of Diddy's baby oil bottles. How do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? A thousand bottles of baby oil. He's going to say Costco. But look, Costco made a statement and said they don't sell baby oil and lubricant in bulk. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think... Americans buy in bulk, as we know, um, and you know this is this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. To summarize, Diddy is currently facing <laughs> at did. least eleven lawsuits, settled one of them, and is also facing an indictment, all of which yeah. alleged themes of violence. It's kind of essay, fire. What's the name of it? trafficking, prostitution, and many more. None of these suits contain any information about other celebrities, except for Lil Ronnie's, which has been amended, like I said, to leave out some bigger names. It's possible we will learn about other celebrities or famous people involved in Diddy's freak-offs or other actions in the investigation. But as of now, this is the all trial been going accused to of, start? legally speaking. So while there are all these rumors floating around about who he what did is baby with, oil used for? or two these are the things he's actually being accused of by multiple people and the u.s government and as bruce rivers says guess what diddy diddy i got news for you there's a freight train coming and you are tied to those motherfucking tracks damn and your lawyer he's got a chisel he's got a blowtorch and he's got all kinds of other tools in his tool toolbox and nothing he can do can remove you from those tracks because that train is coming and that train is the U.S. government. So hopefully as yeah. this investigation continues. I ain't going to lie, bro. If the U.S. government has to come after you, you did something bad. Like the U.S. government only comes for big crime organizations. It's not even like a, it's not even like a state government. It's the federal government. You did something bad. You did something bad. Like the, the thing is, Diddy versus the United States, bro.